Currently in theaters, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, the latest addition to this iconic film series, which began in 1981. Harrison Ford is back, but strangely, director Steven Spielberg is not. Instead, this time, James Mangold heads up this expedition. Surprise! I'm retiring. Well, in that case, what are we drinking? Same for the goddaughter. Dad told me you found something on a train during the war. A dial that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? In a world that finds an aging Dr. Jones in 1969 on the precipice of retirement, he finds himself begrudgingly thrust once again into an adventure, this time with his goddaughter Helena and her friend Teddy. As they kick, punch, shoot, and whip their way across the world in an effort to keep a supposed magical artifact out of the hands of, you guessed it, Nazis. You've taken your chances, made your mistakes, and now a final triumph. Dial of Destiny sticks to the 40-year-old Lucas Spielberg guide map pretty closely in terms of how things play out on the big screen. And in doing so, gives us movie fans perhaps one last adventure with Indiana Jones, filled with old friends, booby traps, and the supernatural. The film is suspenseful and action-packed, but keeps your attention for its lengthy runtime. It's filled with humor and heart, and may very well leave audiences cheering in the end. Now, is it the best in the series? Of course not, and why would you ask that, you silly, silly goose? But it is a very worthy send-off that I think most audiences will enjoy. I thought Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was really quite good. Chris Jenkins, CBS 6.